Hey folks, it's Johnny at Prepper Base One. And over the last several months, a tremendous number of Americans, tens of thousands, have flocked to gun stores and sporting goods stores purchasing firearms because of the current situation. And that's a good thing. Welcome to the Second Amendment. But many of these people have no experience with firearms, have very little training, and some of this was just panic buying. So if you're a brand new guy or gal that just purchased a firearm because you're concerned about what's going on around you, that was a smart move. Welcome to the Second Amendment. However, buying a gun and going to the range and just shooting a few rounds is not going to get it. Welcome to exercising your Second Amendment rights, but right now, the Second Amendment responsibility begins. Okay, so you're a brand new firearms owner and you've purchased a firearm because you want to protect you and your family in uncertain times, and that's a good thing. But it doesn't stop there. You need to be trained. You need to learn how to safely, effectively, and legally use your firearm wherever you're at. Getting training is not all that hard. There's a lot of different schools available out there. You have extremely high-priced schools in various parts of the country that you can find on the internet, but you can also find some really good local instructors who will teach you what you need to know to get started. Now the NRA has some good training programs. I'm an NRA certified instructor. I'm a life member of the NRA. I'm not happy with their current uh, lack of strong support for Second Amendment rights, but their training programs are excellent. And right down below, I post a link to where you can find an NRA instructor in your area that will teach you how to use your firearm safely, legally, and effectively. Okay, now you found an instructor to give you the basic fundamentals that you need to use your firearm safely, efficiently, and legally. It doesn't stop there, you still got some things to do. You need to acquire some equipment, and I'm going to discuss that. I taught Arizona concealed carry classes for a number of years, and many of my students were brand new firearms owners. And they would come to class with a quality firearm, sufficient ammunition for the class, and then some flimsy holster that really wasn't acceptable. In order to carry your firearm for self-protection or going through training, you need a quality holster. There's a lot of different types of holsters available out there. Uh, Kydex is a good quality type of holster. It's made out of hard plastic, sweat resistant, water resistant. There's a number of different manufacturers that make them. It's a good choice. Okay? You want to make sure that the holster covers the trigger and trigger guard, and you want to make sure that it retains your handgun safely. Okay? Another good choice is leather. There's a lot of quality leather holster manufacturers out there. Uh, get on the internet, look at them. I know Bianchi's one, Milt Sparks is another. There's nothing wrong with good quality leather holster, but make sure that it is designed to fit your particular model of firearm. And the same thing goes with your Kydex holsters too. In regards to magazines, you need at least three magazines for your semi-automatic pistol. And I'm talking primarily about semi-automatic pistols. If you have another type of firearm, that you're going to be trained with, the same concepts apply. Make sure that you have three magazines that are factory original magazines. Aftermarket magazines oftentimes are not as good as your factory originals. So go back to your dealer and make sure that you get a total of three magazines. Another thing you need to consider too is how you're going to carry your magazines. A magazine carrier and Kydex, good choice. It'll hold them safely. Again, water and sweat resistant. But there's nothing wrong with quality leather carriers also, okay? Your choice. The last item you really want to consider getting is a magazine loader, okay? This makes loading the rounds into your magazine a lot easier, and, and it, makes, uh, it makes it just not, not only easier, it's more convenient, it's faster, okay? And it'll save a lot of wear and tear on your thumb, trust me. In regards to ammunition, you need to shop around and try different varieties of self-defense ammunition. Your particular pistol may be finicky about what it likes or doesn't like. Find a load that will function correctly and efficiently in your handgun and then practice with it until you get used to it. So this was just a number of ideas that you need to think about when you purchase a brand new firearm and you want to get trained to effectively, efficiently, legally, and properly and safely carry it defend you and your family. So if you like this video and it did you some good, I'd appreciate the thumbs up and consider subscribing. So until next video, God bless and watch six.